I started digging this garden bed out here because I'm preparing it for my carrots. I want to get them in there. Now carrots you saw them two or three weeks just before the last frost. Now we're in the colder regions here. We've had some really heavy frosty nights. I'm hoping we don't get too many more to come up. So about two weeks from today, I would say, you know, mid July to late July, there shouldn't be any more frost. And hopefully the carrots will germinate, they'll be fine. But you can sow them all year round at the end of the day. Now this needs to be prepared like I've done with the rest of the beds. I've done all the composting. I've done all the uh, mulching and straw that we need to add into it. And that's what I'm going to do with this. And while I do this, and when it does rain, like it's about to rain again, I'm going to show you how to make your own seed tape. Now, what a seed tape is, have a look at this. That's parsley, look how tough it is. I just dug that out of the ground and pot popped it in straight into a pot. That was done earlier this morning. It's late afternoon today. You're watching this in the morning now, so that was last night, basically, or yesterday, in your time. You can do that with your parsley and transplant So what I'm going to show you is how to make your own little seed tape. And that is for those seeds that you want to sow into the ground directly because you don't want to transplant them like carrots, parsnips and things like that. They don't transplant that easily and they're so minute they're hard to actually control. So let's go over there and I'll show you how to seed tape. Look what I've got here. It's an old spice jar that I'm recycling with Parisian uh, carrots. I was going to say carrots. Now there's thousands, literally thousands of seeds in here and you can't possibly just sprinkle them in the ground and expect them to germinate and be perfect because you'll have to start thinning them out. And it's sometimes sad if you've got too many and you sow too many in the same spot and you, don't, and you start separating them and you don't get to enjoy them even though they'll be like baby carrots. Now if you don't know what the Parisian carrots are like, well they're not long, they're not purple, they're round. Well they're a purpley ready colour but they are a round carrot rather than a long carrot. Now I'm going to show you a seed tape how to make one that is. Toilet paper, it's the fab thing today, everybody's running out to buy some. Well, lucky enough we still got plenty here and we didn't go out there crazy buying toilet paper but anyway we're using toilet paper here, you can use newspaper if you like, anything recycled, anything that's biodegradable that'll be fine, you can use paper towel if you like as well and if you google this online and you want to research it and find out how everybody else does it, everybody makes a glue. I've never made the glue all I've done, and I've never used toilet paper to be honest with you, I've always used newspaper, but I thought I'll just do the same thing as everybody else. Toilet paper. I'm not going to separate the two ply, I am not going to sit there cut it in half. It's just a lot of time wasting if you ask me, uh, and I'm not going to make a glue either. I'm not going to sit there. Cara, <laughs> Cara, come here, come over here. <laughs> sit down. Good girl, sit, sit, sit. Good girl, stay. All right, now stay there. They're excited. They haven't had any play time today because it's been raining all day. The first moment we got, we came outside and I got stuck out. As I told you, oh, look, it's starting to rain already. All right, no more talk, uh, wasting time. Seeds. Let's sprinkle them out as evenly as possible. There's no glue here. It's simply drop, drop them out, spread them out lightly. I don't have to do this in super time. And it doesn't matter if it's getting wet a bit because that's the idea. We want to wet this. But I'll show you how I wet it. See how I'm spreading the seeds out here? Now you're going to go 10 centimeters, 5 centimeters, whatever you fancy. I've got a lot of seeds here already. All right. Now, the first thing you're going to think is, all right, he's going to try and roll this up or fold it over and they're all going to move. Well, that's true. They are going to move if I don't do something or use a glue. And I'm not going to use a glue. I'm going to put these ones back somehow. Them back into those little holes. Well, rather than a glue, water in the spray bottle. Just lightly like that. You can do it before or after. If you do it before, it's like this. Now I've tore that apart. This is what I don't like about toilet paper. You got the perforations and they fall apart. And it really depends on the quality of the toilet paper, too, eh? So just fold it over. All right, newspaper's a lot easier if you ask me, but anyway, we'll give it a go with toilet paper. Pattern it down. All right, let's give it another light. The moisture will keep the seed in place. Hydrate the paper, and you know what happens to toilet paper when you wet it too much. <laughs> it becomes the old proverbial. Have a look, can you see that? Come up close. Can you see the seeds in there? See in there? Beautiful. Now that's ready. There's my seed tape. Just gonna take that out into the garden once I've got it ready. Lay it in the soil, which will be our next little video. So for now, if you've got 
seeds, whether they're broccoli seeds, cauliflower seeds, parsnips, radishes, uh, carrot seeds, a little bit of paper, toilet paper if you like, paper towel which is a lot sturdier and then again newspaper is just as good too. Fold it over, it's hydrated, keeps the seed in place and then you can plant it out straight into the garden. For me, Vasily, I'm Odessi. Here comes the rain.